an old village pump here and something else communal that the villagers would have used an oven because not everybody always had an oven sometimes they just had shared ones for the whole row and here is one now this one's from Merthyr Tidville oh, in fact this whole terrace came from Merthyr Tidville as well if you don't know where that is it's a red thing I did a vlog there the other day so I was in Traco Mills I've done a few Merthyr vlogs actually ah oh, and here are those dates of the cottages because you know they're furnished according to um, different periods noisy helicopter going past 1805 1855, 1895, 1925, 1955 and 1985. So let's go and have a look and see how they changed as time progressed. So this is the 1805. Very barren and sparse inside. Old fireplace there, a kettle. Look at the old iron they used to put, didn't they put hot rocks in there out of the fire? Got a very skinny back on it, that chair, hasn't it? Perhaps they're a bit short of wood. <laughs> this one's blocked off, but we can stick our nose in. Aha, a bedroom. Very, very dimly lit, of course, but I think the camera's picking up some detail basket on the bed for some reason oh some clothing on the bed as well and at the foot of the bed a little cot for a baby just notice there's a little bench there at that table okay next one. Oh, we got a lovely warm fire oh, it's going crazy <laughs> they got a good fire guard though oh I can feel the warmth of that oh yes that's making up for the lack of gloves that is I'd forgotten about how fires do that. It sort of took me back to my childhood a bit then. We used to rake out the fire and it used to come down into the tray, into the ash tray. I'm wondering what these are and I did know once and I have been told and now I can't remember. So if you want to let me know in the comments, I'd most appreciate it. Another one of those irons, look. Bread and cheese for supper by the look of things. There's an old writing desk there, look, with one of those pull-down things that you could use as the desk. They're a good idea, you know. I wouldn't mind one of those now. There's the old traditional Welsh dresser. What are those plates made out of? Is that pewter? I'm not even sure what pewter is, but the word sprang to mind. I might have to Google. The China dogs. No photographs yet. The period is too early for photographs. Bedroom. Just a single bed in this one. You can see how the light from the fire is reflecting on the wall. Right on to the next one. So the gardens go with this. They've done the gardens as well, you know, going up, you know, so many decades per house as well. It's very interesting in itself to look at the gardens. A bit cooler in this one, look. No fire blazing in the hearth. Empty and cold. They've got a couple of irons there, look on a stand. A bit different from those ones that you put stuff in. The chinaware is set on the table. And there are loads of jugs hanging from hooks on the ceiling. Hey, look at that clock there. A pendulum. And weights hanging down, like my old grandparents' cuckoo clock used to have weights hanging down. I'm not sure if you can see that well enough because it's in darkness. We used to wind it up by pulling the things all the way up. The weights used to come back up. I thought it was really fun as a child. I'm wondering what these are. Rolling pins? Did you maybe put some cold water in and roll your pastry out with it? Hey, we've got a sort of, is that a photo on a plate? Or is it an etching or something? Mrs Gladstone, anyway. Oh, more dogs. And me. Hello. <laughs> oh, they got their laundry on the bed as well. It's like my house, I've always got laundry ticked on the bed. It's one of those ancient hot water bottles on the window sill, look. But it's so dark, I don't know if you can make it out. On to the next one. Right next door as well. <laughs> oh, look. The table's got like leg warmers on. I could do with some of those, to be honest. Now we're into the era of photographs. Big ones, aren't they? Ah. 
This hearth isn't lit either, but you can have a good look at it, can't you? Tiny little thing, but it really warmed up these little cottages, didn't it? Oh, look at that record player. I don't think you can see it very well because of the lighting. If I get that glare out of the window out of the way. No, you can't see very well. Old sewing machine there, is that a singer? Beautiful bit of kit. I'm trying to get a better shot of that record player for you. There's the washing facilities there. Little soap holder. Oh, they've actually got a tap, look. I don't know how common that would have been. I've just noticed the wallpaper as well for the first time. It's quite dark in here, so it's easy to miss things, I think. Next. Pretty little neck curtains, aren't they? Hmm, this looks like it might be getting redone up, this one. No, can't go in there, it's been refurbished. Shall we go to the 80s? Oh yeah, fish and chips for tea. <laughs> it's freezing in here, <laughs> I've got to be honest. Oh, they got a back door open, that's why it's a through draft. TV, fire, see this dust doesn't look that dated to me now, that's weird, isn't it? I think the tea's gone cold. Mind you, looking at those makes me fancy a cup of tea. They have got a little tea room here, actually. Anybody remember these? I don't remember them, but I think I remember similar ones. A cooker there, doesn't look that old to me, to be honest. Washing machine looks quite dated though. Gosh, yeah. Microwave, looks massive. Oh, look at the cassette player. <laughs> cool, wow. Oh, look at the kettle. <laughs> now then, I lived in Wales in the 80s. I did not have a bath in my kitchen, but I have met somebody who said their grand did. So, did you have a bath in your kitchen if you lived in Wales in the 80s? I'd love to know. Please let me know in the comments. Right, I'm heading out. Oh, look at these leaves coming down. What a day. I, I think I've been quite lucky, really. I could have been so much worse off with the rain and wind, honestly. Not doing too bad at all. These leaves, they're just like raining down continuously. <laughs> I'm thinking about maybe popping in to have a look at the school next. Let's see. All horsey stuff. Sadler's Workshop, that is 1926. Here's the school. Coming up to 3 p.m. Strikes me that's a sensible time to get a cup of tea. So after we've been in here, that's what I'm gonna try and do. I just thought I'd have a quick look out the back first at the playground. They used to segregate boys and girls for playtime in those days. So one side would be the girl's side and one side would be the boy's side. Wonder if we can see in the loos. <laughs> I'm nosy, aren't I? What if I open it now and there's somebody sitting on them and they go, oh, oi! No, we can't get in. I don't know who'd be most shocked, me or them. Where's my mask gone? Oh, coat hooks for all the children's coats. <laughs> come into the school classroom they started about I think he said five years old so age 14 at that he was explaining it in Welsh so I was doing my best to keep up <laughs> there's a classroom assistant type person here he said as well as the teacher so she could give him a hand and they did reading and writing and maths bit of needlework for the girls see there was the dreaded Welsh knot that thing there kids were not allowed to speak Welsh and if they were caught speaking Welsh they were punished we had that put around their neck and the last person to have it on at the end of the day would be in trouble. Can't remember what the punishment was, but I don't think it was very nice. I don't know what that thing is. I think this is probably some kind of punishment as well. I just asked the man, that thing with the holes there, it's for the left-handed people. If they were caught writing with their left hand, they had to put their fingers through it to inhibit them from being able to do that. And that was for correcting bad posture. They had to stick it behind their back and uh, put their arms behind it. That looks like uh, manipulatives for maths. <laughs> There's the heater there, look, can you see? I see an abacus, oh, canes. Oh, yeah, we don't like that, do we? Right, let's go and get a cup of tea, shall we? That'd be jolly nice. Thank you, Thank you. Oh, here we are. Gualia Tea Rooms. 
Oh, we've got some new construction happening here. They do continue to build things, so if you haven't been for a few years, it's definitely worth another visit because something else might have sprung up. Where do we go in? Oh, I'm chilly. Maybe it's closed. Oh, the main one's probably open though. That does not look open. Ooh. Fish and chips. They're selling fish and chips now. Yeah. Traditional fish and chips. Well, I didn't know that was there. I don't know if it's open. I only want a cup of tea, but I want to sit in the warm and have it. Right, this is what I'm going to do. I've been on my feet a long time, so I definitely want a cup of tea. I'm going to head back to the main building, the main museum. The light is starting to go now. It's getting quite cold. There is still loads more to see, but I am not averse to having a second trip to see the other things. So let's go to the big main building and get a nice cuppa, maybe coffee, actually. And sit down and out of my peripheral vision then when I was talking to you I could see a big crowd of people staring at me <laughs> again it keeps happening <laughs> oh no there's the cockpit down there oh we'll have a look at that another day <laughs> it was for cockfighting post office oh come on let's just poke the GoPro in I'm not going to stop and film it now because I really, I'm actually, my hands are turning to ice blocks. I've done a bit of re-landscaping here, it looks all different. Not a bad thing, pigsty there. Uh, but anyway, I'm making a beeline for hot drink and I sit down now. Starting to bundle myself up a bit. I've got a hat in my bag, but I just want to stop and get my bag off and everything till I sit down, so yeah going with the scarf wedged under hoodie hood look at the moment it's nice i think we might have a cafe by there it's called a gag in that means the kitchen in welsh so probably look i just wanted to show you this rather lovely play area that i haven't seen before how charming i'd love that never seen swings in a formation like that you know all facing in to see each other kind of more sociable really oh here we are it's popping here Now we're talking. Do you know, I love my little mini holiday days for one. Very pleasant. Do you know, that lot didn't feel heavy when I set out today, but I have got drinks in there and ended up getting another drink with a meal deal as well, so quite heavy. <laughs> and those cameras, they kind of add up. <laughs> I've got three in there. Anyway, cheers. There's a pigeon pecking around out there. Wood pigeon, maybe? Pretty little thing, anyway. I'm just loving that I've come at such an off-peak, quiet time. It's amazing. Just get the whole place to myself. It's about half past three now and my plan is I'm going to lounge around here for a while and have quite a good rest because I'm going to walk back to the station. I've decided I'm up for it, but it's two miles and I've been on my feet all day, so I need a little bit of rest. And I'll come back another day to finish off my filming. 